Good evening all of you. Welcome to the video on LC oscillators. This is the general form of LC oscillators. In the last video I explained you how uh, the oscillations will start in LC oscillators. The reason for oscillations in LC oscillators is the tank circuit. Okay, this is the general form of LC oscillators. It consists of an amplifier and this feedback network. The combination Z1, Z2, Z3 forms a feedback network. Means Z1, Z2, Z3 is totally LC circuit. That will produce oscillations. Those oscillations will be amplified by the amplifier. Now in the place of amplifier you can take either BJT or FET. Okay. So now in the place of amplifier I am taking a CE amplifier. So now one is the terminal one is input terminal. Terminal two is output terminal. And terminal three is ground terminal. Then if you take a CE amplifier what is terminal one base. Terminal two collector. And terminal 3 emitter. So now I am drawing the equivalent circuit of this uh, general form of LC oscillators. Between base and emitter we know HIE. Between collector and emitter we know it is HFEIB. And rest of the circuit is connected as it is. This part is output of the amplifier. And this part is input part of the amplifier. Now the output is connected to the input of the amplifier through this feedback network. To make the analysis easy, now I am drawing this circuit in this form. See the circuit carefully. This is the collector, fine. So this is the collector and this is the ground, means here emitter is grounded. Between collector and emitter, we have HFEIB, so between collector and emitter we have HFEIB, fine. Again, between the collector and emitter we have another impedance called Z2, fine. And one end of the Z2 is again connected to Z3, see here, Z2 one end is connected to Z3, Z2 another end is at ground, yes, this is ground and it is Z3. Z3 is connected with two things, Z1 and HIE. So, see Z3, Z1 and HIE and through the base terminal. Yes, this is the base terminal. So, what is the circuit? You know the collector part is output part. So, this is the output part and this is, this totally is the feedback network. Yes, this totally is the feedback network and then from the feedback network, the connection is to the input. This is the feedback network and the connection is to the input side. Okay. General uh, circuit is from input to output. But here the main part is the feedback. You have to consider the feedback circuit in any circuit from output of the amplifier to the input of the amplifier. Between the output of the amplifier and input of the amplifier only we have feedback network. Output of the amplifier becomes input for the feedback network and input of the amplifier becomes output of the feedback network. Okay, so the, that is the reason in the case of feedback circuit, you, you have to start from output of the amplifier and then the output of the feedback network which is connected to the input of the amplifier. Okay, fine. So now, see the circuit. Where is the feedback output? Feedback output is at the input of the amplifier. So this is the input of the amplifier. Yes, voltage across this is called VF. What is the feedback output here? This, this is the voltage across this parallel combination. What is the parallel combination here? Z1 and HIA. So Z1 and HIA are in parallel and the voltage drop across this parallel combination is nothing but VF. Another part. What is V0? We know, we know the output is at collector. Okay. So this is the collector. So you can take V0 here. Or as this is totally parallel. Even at this part also you can take V0. What is V0? Here is actually V0 collector. At the collector you have V0. Fine now. Next. 
Old age gain without feedback is A is equal to minus HFE into ZL by HI. Okay. So, what is this formula? This is nothing but amplifier gain in the case of CE amplifier. A is equal to AI into ZL by ZI. Yes, here AI is minus HFE. ZL divided by ZI. What is ZI for CE amplifier? HI. Now, coming to ZL. What is the ZL for this circuit? See this. This is the output terminal. Fine. This is the collector terminal. So, impedance presented after the output terminal. Totally. This total is called load impedance. Okay. So, this totally is called load for the amplifier. What is the total impedance here? If you see the total one. First, Z1 and HI are in parallel. To this parallel combination, Z3 is in series and for that combination, Z2 is in parallel. So, that totally is your ZL. Fine. Next, the feedback factor beta. What is the feedback factor beta? Output of the feedback network by input of the feedback network. What is the output of the feedback network? Vf. And what is the input of the feedback network? V0. Okay. So, this is the V0. Next. Now, we'll see what is ZL. Yes, I already told you, ZL is, ZL is Z2 in parallel with Z3 plus Z1 in parallel with HIE. It is ZL is Z2 in parallel with Z3 plus Z1 in parallel with HIE. Just you solve this. Z1 in parallel with HIE is Z1 HIE by Z1 plus HIE. Yes, this total is in parallel with Z2. So, just solve this and simplify it. Yes, after the simplification, you are going to get the final expression for ZL as this. This is the final expression for ZL. Then, what is VF? I already told you what is VF. VF is the voltage across this parallel combination. Assume a current I here. Okay, that current I is flowing through this parallel part also. So, I into Z1 in parallel with HIE is nothing but your VF. Okay. VF. VF is equal to I into Z1 in parallel with HIE. Okay. And what is V0? Yes. V0 is the total voltage across this combination. What is the impedance here? Z3 plus Z1 in parallel with HIE. Okay. To this total impedance, to this combination of impedance, what is the current? I. So, what is V0? I into this total impedance. Fine. So, totally, yes, voltage across Z3 and Z1 in parallel with HIE is V0. In that part, the voltage across Z1 in parallel with HIE is Vf. So, it's like, see here, I will explain a simple part. Yes, Z3. Yes, here it is Z1 in parallel with HIE. Okay. Yes, to this is totally V0. And only this part is your VF. Okay. So, that is the concept. You notice I of Z3 plus Z1 in parallel with HIE. Therefore, the feedback factor beta VF by V0. Just substitute this and solve this. Totally, at last, you are going to get this as your beta. No, uh, amplifier gain without feedback. What is the amplifier gain without feedback? Minus HFA into ZL by ZI. Okay, so now you have beta, you have amplifier gain without feedback A. Now, we have to move the concept for oscillations to occur. Yes, the loop gain A beta must be equal to 1. Just substitute A and beta. Okay. And make it equal to 1. Yes, just substitute ZL. And then simplify. Yes. This is all the simplification. You are going to get this expression. Which is nothing but general equation for LC oscillators. Okay. General equation for LC oscillators. With this general equation, we are going to analyze the two types of LC oscillators, one is Hartley, another one is Colpitts. 
okay you i'll explain hartley and carpet oscillators thank you very much